So hi guys, it's me Deepak, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of Android Studio. And I want to apologize for the last video; it was a little bit too fast. So I think after this video, that video will be clear. So you should go and watch that video. So let's create a to-do list today. So this is going to be a basic video on how to create a basic to-do list app that sort of works. So here is our activity main XML file. This is a palette. It has text. Buttons, widgets, different layouts like you have scroll view here, different things. I'm going to talk about all of these here in this video. So first of all, go to tools and check the AVD manager. You have to install an emulator first because if you have just installed the Android Studio, you need to have an emulator. So let's drop a button first. So this is the button ID and there's a button text. If I change the text to like click me exclamation, it's change to click me as you can see on the screen so guys you should not click on a button that says click me and to know why click right at the top there's a video explaining it why you should not so let's move on and see uh, and make changes to add tasks because we're going to make a to-do list and we need to have a button that can add tasks so let's drop a text view here no, not text view and edit text. So this is a plain text where we're gonna write our tasks, you know. And then we need a text view where we are gonna store. So this is a very basic app. I mean, it's really simple. So I'm gonna just drag it to look a bit more like a actual things where you can write your tasks. But I'm gonna show you how uh, that this doesn't work like how. Because, you know, if you just run this app now, the buttons will be floating because there are constraints. So you should first attach the constraints. You can see there are red dots on the component tree. That's the reason why the, those are there. So you need to add the constraint left, right, top and bottom. It's always advised to have those constraints set. Then your app won't be float. Then your buttons and widgets won't be floating when you run the app. So I'm connecting this text view to my edit text that is name and the add task also to the right side to the edit uh, to this edit text and i'm going to connect a uh, edit text to like a show baseline constraint as well later so let's see i'm in the constraint widgets i am setting a space of 16 why i will show you if i change it to wrap content right now you can see it became really small like it wrapped the content but if i change it to match parents that's why I said 16 because now you can see the difference between the boundary and the text view is 16 dB. Similarly, you can have it uh, 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 set the constraints for name because you again I'm saying you don't want your widgets to be floating. That's why. Now we attach the constraints of the name to the top and you need to do the same for the add task but I'm not going to do it right now just to show you why you need to set the constraints. So this looks fine. You need to add the constraints. If you want to delete a constraint, just press command key and click on that constraint. It will be deleted or a control key. I don't know the window shortcut for this. So just uh, run this app and see the problem. That will be our add task because we have not, uh, not set a constraint for the top button. As you can see, add task is uh, shifted to up because there was no top constraint. So I'm going to add a baseline constraint. Just right click on the button and click on show baseline constraint and uh, drag it to name. And now it would be fine. You can add a top constraint if you want. You should try different things. You are not going to wreck the Android Studio. You can do anything in this in this layout as you want because what the worst can that can happen. Just it's not changeable then just click off and redo this whole step because you should try new things so like I, i'm writing a, i will take out the garbage and the button is not working and why will it because we have not write the code so let's write the brain of this app so we're gonna start by having private edit text why edit text because that where we are gonna uh, write our tasks tasks so in Android Studio is very helpful in these cases. You know, you need to import libraries. Android Studio can do this for you. You just need to click on 
the drop down options which you want so like here i'm writing edit text you can see it appears at uh, android dot widget dot edit text and it's really helpful similarly i'm going to have a text view here that that is going to store our you know the tasks so i'm going to name it store tasks okay if uh, that said i'm going to now have i'm going to now link these variables to our layout that's how it's going to know that these are for those things these are their references i think that's the right term references are these are linking to the layout just keep that in mind so i have a input task that text view where i'll be writing the tasks i'm going to have a edit text in the brackets then find view by id r dot id dot the id of that button remember what i said that id to edit text your id is uh, is essential here you don't want the wrong id to be written so just check that out in your layouts what you have written so here it will be a text view and it should also suggest you different things like it's suggesting my text view that's in the layout so now i need to have input dot set text to uh, curly braces why because it's going to set the text to literally nothing because i have not done anything here and that's a key like i'm storing the so, sto i'm setting store text uh, store task dog set text to curly braces for the same reason because when i run this app it will be empty it's just going to have those hard text here so now let's connect the button so button button equal again button you can see it has already imported button for me in the import lab now let's connect to r dot id dot button id remember these widgets will have their id you can name them anything you want so as you will be writing a lot of task in this app and that should is going to run out of space those that layout will be will going to run out of space so we need to add a scrolling method you know all have those scrolling methods so we need to add that scrolling method for that i'll need a like what's the name of the text view it's a store tasks so i'm going to set store tasks dot set movement method So let's write step movement method and we're going to new not scroll movement method and that's done. And it is really helpful in suggesting you uh, the names so you don't make mistakes because the language is case sensitive. So and it really does make your life easy. So let's have a view dot set on uh, on click listener. Why? Because when, when we click on the button, it need to act, you know, so for that, I'm going to I'm going to have a variable that will listen for the clicks on the button. So I will have a view dot on click listener, listener equal new. And when you write view dot on click listener, just click on this icon. It will automatically create your uh, void on click. So remember this view V that's going to be helpful. Not in this video, but in few videos in the next upcoming videos which are gonna be so subscribe to this channel so string task equal input toss dot get text i will get that text from the edit text remember i'm gonna write the text here so it's gonna get that text from that edit text from and it's gonna so now the task is uh now the task is a string so i'm gonna add a next line like slash n because if I have all if I write a task then I press click so it's gonna add it to store task if there's no slash and then the next task will be in the same line and we don't want that so so, so that it will so that it shift to the next line that's why I have this slash in in C++ you uh, you have and I'll remember so store task dot append so we will be appending the task not setting the text because if we set the text it will change the task to the new ch new task but in append it will uh, attach the new text new string to the already added string if that makes sense so we need a button dot set on click listener and button is the id uh, but is this uh, variable that we store remember so only that button it's not a general button here it's the button that we have set so button dot set on click listener is gonna set it so i think the app should work so let's run the app so here if i 
like a task like a, i don't know like study something so it add the task here similarly if i want to add a new task here like a subscribe and share this video which you should i'll add it to my list like you can see it works but there's some issues here in this app obviously everything is not you know sunshine and rainbows so let's have a, so let's try the what are the issues here so if i change this app to landscape mode you know if i rotate this app so you can see that the task that we added earlier like subscribe and share this video is gone if i had like el anything like a shift line again to portrait mode you can see that our uh, our state is lost so we need to save the state so that or something like that to so that when we uh, shift it to landscape mode or portrait mode our activity is not our state is not lost for that uh, for that we need uh, to write some override functions but before that i want to show you something which we are going to use in later videos but i just want to give you a little bit of how it's going to work so let's have a let you need to write a log t and it will automatically appear in the function you need to write log d and it will automatically be logged up log d dot tags why we need this because when you run the app you want to see the sequence how it run, how everything run and this is going to help you determine what is running first what is running last or what's running in between because you're going to have a lot of classes a lot of functions it's not all apps are like this simple so this is really helpful when you check your log so i just want to show you this show uh, show you that but now our problem is we need to have a mechanism that can save so press control o and you will have select method for override so you can just type on that this method like on resume and it will show you the uh, functions like i am writing like on resume on restart on start you're not going to use this function i'm just going to show you how show you like you can have override methods this simply you can write this method obviously but it's 2020 who has time for that so let's have another i need two more functions that i actually need in this video which are save instance state and on restart save instance state something so i was i was looking for this on save instance for like i don't know hours not hours it's an exaggeration but i was looking for this for a lot of for a long time because i was unable to find find it out so if this happens to you don't be discouraged it happens to a lot of people so as you can see you uh, i need an on restart instance state so i'll just uh, So while I figure it out, why don't you subscribe to the channel? So okay, I have on restart instance state. Now I need that on save instant. So I just found that out. Find that out. So let's continue. So I'll be needing few things here. That is a private string. That's gonna st store that text. that is stored in our store store task so that when we destroy because when you rotate you know you destroy all the activities so you need something to store all the string store that string and put it back when you recreate that state so that is why we have on save state so our state dot put string and we are going to have that string variable name that is saved because it's going to save our app and store task dot get text dot to string so we got to get that text from our store task that's our text you remember and i'm going to put back to like so i'm going to create a string i'm going to name it like a save task equal save instance state that's from the bundle save instance state to to get the text from saved and i'm going to 
like set the text now to our the name it's store in, uh, store task so let's write it down store task dot set text to save task and if i run it should run i think so guys if you get any error if you have any problem running this i write it in the comment section i'll try to answer your queries to the best of my capabilities so guys it works now our even though we rotate the app our st string was saved and then reloaded so that's works the problem is when you close your app the activity is deleted so in the next part i'm going to show you how you can get over that fact i'm also going to change this app in the next part a little bit i'm going to add different text views and a recycle view i, I mean i'm going to do a lot of things with this app so this was just to get you started with Android development and I will, uh, it will be really, I would really appreciate if you go check my video on how to make a calculator. I will have a link to that video. And if you are wondering why I have a dark theme and the method separators, I have a video explaining that too. So check that video out and, uh, thanks for watching this guys. Subscribe, like, comment down any queries you have. Like if this app doesn't run, tell me what the error is showing. You can always Google it, but write in the comment section. And thanks for watching.